Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vanessa Stella Vlog. So just an update. Yeah, I'm still working in a five one talk. Well, anyway, my uh, vlog for today is not pertaining to five one talk, uh, but pertaining to um, how that I became um, an ESL teacher. Um, so might be you are asking yourself if you are capable in applying an ESL. Um, because you were not really convinced or you are not really um, like ano ba to sa Tagalog or English hindi ko masyadong convinced sa English mo because you think that you were not that fluent well um, you were not alone I am here for you <laughs> Well, anyway, um, you are not alone. I am asking that to myself and times before um, I applied as an ESL teacher. So I know that ESL is a pri primarily or mainly using the English language and you were not allowed to speak in Tagalog. So dati, nag-aalangan ako kasi I'm really not sure sa English ko, sa correct usage of grammar. And, and how to deliver lessons perfectly or efficiently to the student na hindi ka magkakamali, ganon. So, um, kasi before, um, I did apply for a lot of call center industry, call center company, ganyan, uh, during my fresh ano, fresh graduate, ganon, yung fresh graduate ako. So, nag-iisip ako, can I try the call center? Kasi most of my classmates, uh, nung college, uh, sabi nila, uy, bagay ka sa call center? Kasi siguro sometimes, napapa-English ako sa klase namin. Uh, which is minimal lang. As in, kaya lang baunin sa isang araw na English ka nun. Hindi ko, hindi fluent like, um, I remember during the college days, eh, um, the teacher, uh, the English teacher will ask you na, uh, do not use Tagalog language, you, you only uh, allowed to use English, ganyan. So, some of my classmates were afraid of talking, like they wanted to go out, they wanted to pee, pero hindi sila makapagsalita since uh, they were afraid na baka marong grammar and kami, or mainly mga classmate namin is tumawa or, yeah, uh, laugh at them, laugh at him or her, ganyan. Um, ako naman, tapang-tapangan, ganyan. So, nagpapalam ako in English. Excuse me, ma'am, can I go out? Ganarn. So, um, yun, siguro that makes them uh, feel and think na I am capable in applying for a call center and uh, agent or call, call center industry since uh, meron akong parang naging English ako ganyan. Pero just ko, kunti lang yung baon kong English. Although, I know myself not, that I love English very much. Um, so, yun, um, I did try mag-apply. Ang dami kong call center na in-apply yan before. Kasi um, after six months uh, ng graduation ko, I mean after graduation and then after six months, nag-fly ako to Manila to try my luck in there. So, may, may naka-board mate ako doon na parang teller ata ng... If I'm not mistaken, she's a teller or something nag-work siya sa bangko ng HSBC. Na grabe, ang HSBC pala is... Um, so hard to apply kasi uh, most lang kinukuha nila doon is yung mga really a graduate sa mga respected or mga kilalang school like UP, like Ateneo, like De La Salle, ganyan. So, sino ba naman ako na galing lang ng probinsya. So, uh, sabi niya sa akin, uh, piprintan kita ng mga call center company, applyan mo. So, ang in-applyan ko is Cytel, Teleperformance, Converges, kanya. Pumapasa lang ako hanggang sa computer, yung computer, pero yung, yung interview na, yung parang final interview kasi sobra namang um, listening comprehension, like, bakit ganon? Parang hindi ko na sila naiintindihan. <laughs> ang hinahina ng bosses nila, ganon. Tapos, na-amaze talaga ako sa mga nag-work sa call center before kasi parang napaka-witty nila, napaka-galing nila mag-English, kanya. Parang, ano ba kinain nila? Bakit, bakit hindi ako ganun kagaling? Kanarn! So, I changed my mind. Nag-apply na lang ako sa mga malls. <laughs> ganun lang. Ganun, ganun na ako nag-apply. And then, I've decided na after three years ata na working uh, in Manila, uh, I decided na pumunta na ng abroad. So, nag-abroad ako for six years. And then, to make the story short, I went back to Philippines. Um, I get married. And then, um, nung 
nagkatira ako sa bahay ng ng family ng asawa ko. Um, uh, meron silang internet connection dito kasi sa province namin before wala wala akong internet connection. So sa kanila um uh, na merong internet connection. So nagiging uso na yung ESL company ganyan yung yung uh, English second language ganyan. So I did try to apply in 51 Talk dati uh, first time. Uh, although hindi pa ako convincing or hindi pa ako masyadong uh, uh, hindi ako masyadong ano ba tawag doon? hindi ko mas ma-express hindi ko pa masyadong uh, alam not in English I mean um, hindi hindi pa ako convinced sa sarili ko na kaya ko ba ito uh, marireject na naman ako nito ganyan. so uh, I did the, 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 the initial interview pero bumagsak ako nung una na apply ko sa 51 Talk sa technical kasi after initial interview sa phone magte technical kayo titingnan nila yung specs mo eh although meron ako nito ay ah, wala wala pa akong headset ang laptop ko noon is yung laptop na binili ko sa Hong Kong which is very cheap and very low quality and very low processor ganun at a processor processor ganun So, hindi ako bubasa. O, pati yung internet connections nila. Kasi, ang minimum pala na Mbps is 5. Uh, at least 5 Mbps. Eh, yun eh, hindi. 3 lang ata. So, mabagal. So, hindi ako bumasa. So, um, ang ginawa ko, nag-invest ako. Nag-invest ako ng new computer. Um, new, ito, headset. Ganyan. And then, nagpakabit na sila ng uh, home fiber fiber, yeah, home fiber ng PLDT before doon sa Laguna. So, malakas na lahat. Nag-initial interview ako, nakarating na ako sa uh, technical, pumasakat sa technical. Sa third is pumasakat ulit ako sa interview, pero hindi na ako pumasa no second, ah. So, tatlong beses ako nag-apply sa five month talk talaga. Isang demo. The reason is, um, I speak too fast. So, yun talaga yung nahihirapan ako, yung magsasalita ako ng slow. Even now, mga students ko minsan ang kanilang uh, feedback is that the teachers speak too too fast. Ganun. So, sometimes I really do that and I don't know why. It's because um, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Bakit mabilis ako magsalita? siguro dinadaan ko na lang doon para hindi para kung nyari kapag hindi niya ako naintindihan nadala siya sa accent ko although my accents are not really based from other country only based from from me from 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 sa akin lang talaga ganun and then the third time na nag-apply na ako which is sabi ko sa sarili ko if this is not is this work if this work is not really meant for me this time would be the last time na mag apply ako and then luckily nakapasa ako so on and so forth so yon Um, until now, I'm almost two years in the platform. So, yon And take note, I'm still not that fluent in English. Though, lots of my students, adult students, are telling me now, Oh, teacher, you're so good. Like, your accent is so good. Um, you delivered the lesson very well. Ganon. Um, yeah, that adds my compiensa sa sarili. But, um, if you were trying to apply in in ESL and you were afraid because you are not really um, convinced hindi mo talaga sure you are not really sure if you are really fluent in English that doesn't matter really okay you just have to be yourself you just um, you just know the might be the basic um, correct pronunciation or, uh, and correct grammar uh, that doesn't require you to to speak uh, sa mga malalamlim na English because you were about to teach zero level to adult level. So, mainly, ang tuturuan mo is zero level. So, you, you are not even allowed to use um, a long sentences. So, it's okay. You can do it. Um, I did it. So, I know you can do it. Can I? Um, I'm, I, I'm sorry if if sometimes my accent is really that, ba- that bad or that mo arte sa inyong pandinig but this is a a little bit required at least a little bit um, malapit sa native accent ng Americans so it's okay to be more as long as you need that in your job right 
in live. Yeah, thank you for watching my vlog and my video. Bye.